Good morning. Um, another workshop that we are presenting early in the week rather than on Saturday. My name is Charles Cena, CEO of Anti-Fragility Health. Don't be distracted by my African garb. The more interesting person here is Dr. Daniel Johnson, <laughs> who's our medical director. Yes, and I left my African garb at home. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yes, origins from Africa, and uh, we're going to make sure you have one, okay, Dr. Johnson? <laughs> Uh, so today we're going to talk about energy medicine, and we're going to talk about one of the tools that uh, Dr. Johnson has been using for quite some time, which we have here in the clinic. And uh, so, Dr. Johnson, so how does energy medicine, it, how do you integrate that into your practice and delivery? Okay, well, first of all, uh, everybody needs to understand that the human body runs on electricity. Uh, a lot of people think we run on chemistry, but that chemistry has to be activated by an electrical uh, current. Every cell in our body is a miniature battery, okay? And uh, when our when battery... When you say miniature battery with a positive and negative yes, ends yes. To, for the electron transfer, yes, exactly. right, which is critical at yes, the cellular exactly. level. Exactly. Yeah. So with energy medicine, we're working with the idea that the human body runs on electricity. And as we age, as certain parts of our body get sick or if certain parts of our body are injured, that electrical current uh, doesn't flow efficiently. Yeah. Now, every part of your body has a unique electrical frequency that it resonates. So your brain has one frequency, your heart has a different frequency, your lungs a different one, your, your uh, kidneys, your liver, your Many pancreas. Many people don't know what frequency is. Well, frequency is uh, how many times per second uh, the, the current is flowing. Yes. Okay? So, for example, if you plug into a, a house outlet, uh, you're getting 60 hertz, which is 60 cycles per second. second yes. so, so that 60 is the frequency. Correct. Okay? Now, now, I just wanted people to understand sure, what that meant. Sure, yes. sure. So <clears throat> with, um, with energy medicine, with our frequency-specific microcurrent machine, uh, we now have the ability to add in uh, back into the patient the healing electrical frequency that the specific part of their body happens to so, need. So what happens is that when it's out of sync, this we want to bring it back exactly. to what the normal frequency would be. Yes, it, yes. It's almost like you're shocking the system back, right? Well, I hate to use that term because yes. people don't like to be shocked, shocked. because yes. that's an unpleasant sensation. Yeah. The reality is that uh, this is not current, this is microcurrent. Okay. okay. Uh, and what's the difference? Well, the difference is this is approximately one millionth of the strength of the electrical current you get out of the wall socket. Okay, so it's a microcurrent. It's a microcurrent. So the, the feeling is never one that you would feel like you're being shocked. Never. Okay. Never. Um, yeah, people don't want to be shocked. That's not a pleasant sensation. Since yeah. your body is already used to running on microcurrent, yes. your body doesn't usually even perceive this. Yes. In fact, uh, commonly patients say, is this thing on? Exactly. Because I, they're I, not feeling it. I have received the treatment, yeah. and I'm going to talk about that, yes. Yeah. And, and I, didn't, I just feel like a little tickling. Yeah, it's possible yes. to... Um, to experience a, a slight tickling or yes. tingling, tingling or prickly yes, sensation. Yes. Uh, if it's unpleasant, we just turn the intensity down. down. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So um, why did you start doing this? Um, I, I, you know, you've given us the background about the electricity and the, the, the overall architecture at the cellular level being a battery. Um, what triggered you to start doing this and start providing this as treatment for patients? Well, uh, I was at a holistic medical seminar, yes. and next to the lecture hall was an exhibit area where various vendors were uh, showing their products, which, yes. and it's mostly vitamin companies, minerals, herbs, th that sort of thing. Uh, but this FSM company yes. uh, had a booth there, and I thought it looked intriguing, and I stopped by to learn more. Mm. And uh, within a few minutes, I knew this was something I very much wanted to add to to, uh, to, to the portfolio of treatment. services that you provide at the, uh, the clinic, yeah. both here and in the desert. Yeah. Up until we started using stem cells a couple of years ago, I've said many times 
that this FSM is the closest thing I've seen to a medical miracle. Wow. It, it's still right up there, but stem cells and FSM are kind of, struggling yeah. for. And now we have to add a NAD into that. So those that are the mix. top three. Yes, yeah, it's interesting, guys. Listen to the top three stem cells, NAD plus, because there's a couple of compounds around NAD, and FSM. So we're going to now look at the equipment itself. Yes. And you're going to talk about how everything works. Yes. So uh, the device looks like this. It's about the size of an old-fashioned uh, answering machine that some of us had back in the 80s. Uh, the electrical current flows through these wires and uh, through these graphite gloves. And then each glove is wrapped into a damp towel that is used to actually transmit the electricity. For conduction, yes. To conduct the electricity. Into the body. Now, whatever we're treating is going to be sandwiched between two towels. So if we're treating the liver, we'll have one towel here and one here. If we're treating the heart, one here and one behind. If we're treating the lungs across the lungs and in the back. If we're uh, treating a sinus infection, we're going to put one over the sinuses and one back here. And if we're the leg. Yeah, okay. arthritis in the knee, we're going to uh, put here and here. Yeah. So we're always going to uh, sandwich the, the yeah. treatment area yeah. uh, between the two towels. So mm -hmm. the current flows directly through the area that needs that current. Wonderful. So let's talk about a couple of examples where you've used this. Okay. And um, uh, come out. So, so one of the issues that comes up with the use of uh, some of these um, alternative medicine therapies is the issue of evidence, right? Uh, and we know there's a portfolio of evidence around yes. energy medicine. Yes. Right. So this yes. is not some uh, thing that Charles brought from Africa. You know, it's no woo-woo bullshit. This is some serious stuff with evidence. Uh, but it stays in the alternative medicine practice because that's where we try to give the body what it needs biologically and otherwise so that the body itself can achieve homeostasis. Yeah. And when we look at energy and frequency, it's really about bringing the body back so that the body really heals itself, yeah. isn't it? That's yes. at the core. Yes. So, so this is not used instead of other holistic treatments. This yes. is used in addition to. As part of it, yes. So uh, some examples. Well, I've had uh, a couple of patients with an acutely herniated disc in their low back. Yes. Okay? Uh, one of them was completely healed with two treatments. The other one took three treatments. Wow. Now, that is plus nutrients and the yes, other things that yes, you need for inflammation yes. and all of that. Now, when we're treating an acute problem, we commonly see uh, dramatic or complete uh, uh, relief within two, three, or four treatments. When we're treating a chronic problem, uh, we well, always... Well, tell us what is a chronic, because there's acute yeah. and there's chronic. So tell us the difference so people understand. Okay, so acute is something that's happened very recently, usually within the last month or so. Yeah. Uh, chronic is something that's been going on for, for many months like, or even years. Oh, I just fell the other day and I have a problem with my back. That's yeah. acute. Yeah. But I've had back pain now for three years. That's yeah. a chronic issue. Yeah. Yeah. Just so, what's the difference with treatment when it's acute and when it's chronic? Well, uh, there's about a hundred and fifty different things that we can treat uh, with this and device. This, and these are the different protocols. Yes. And so, when we choose the right protocol, uh, we dial it in on the machine. Then the machine automatically. Uh, selects and administers the proper healing frequency for that particular organ in that uh, particular condition. So for example, if you got low back pain, we need to know is it a disc, is it a problem with a facet, is it arthritis in the spine, is it uh, tight knots in the muscles in the back. And that's why we need a, a, a medical practitioner to, to figure that out. To figure that out. Yes. So you can't just go on the, by yourself at home and say, oh, I know what it is, because then the, there's a setting on the machine yes. that is specific for what kind of problem it is, for the, based on the diagnosis. Yeah. Now, th there is kind of a generic benefit. Yes. Uh, so that if you accidentally uh, treat your low back with the heart setting or the kidney setting, you're likely to still get some benefit. Yes. But uh, you're not going to get the maximum benefit because you haven't zeroed in precisely For on that, the exact that frequency. Frequency. Yeah. yeah. The frequency yeah. is the critical thing. Yeah. So let's talk about because I've been receiving uh, 
treatment for my kidney. Yes. Yes. So how did we come to determine that I should treat my kidney? Well, we looked at your creatinine, which is a blood test. Yes. Okay. Uh, creatinine is the name of one of the waste products of our protein metabolism. Yes. One of the jobs of our kidneys is to get rid of those waste products. Yes. And if your kidney is doing that efficiently, your creatinine level will stay low. Yes. But if your creatinine level is climbing higher, it means that uh, your kidneys are not as efficiently getting rid of the waste products as they should. So okay. uh, creatinine is a fairly standard blood test that uh, most doctors will do just about any time you have blood drawn. And so you can see trends. Uh, if you're dehydrated, uh, you may have an acutely elevated creatinine. Yes. Uh, but then when you start drinking an appropriate amount of water, your creatinine becomes normal. In your case, uh, we, we're seeing a long-term trend. Yes. So uh, I've treated patients that uh, had kidney failure and were headed towards dialysis. And with a combination of the FSM and proper nutrients and some other things they needed, we were able to get their kidney function almost back to normal. Amazing stuff, right? Yeah, amazing Considering stuff. Considering how many people are going. So yeah, that's yeah. kidney. So uh, we were also talking about prostate. Yes. Yes, that uh, for a lot of people who have erectile dysfunction or who have prostate, you go ahead, Doc. Yeah, well, there's a, there's a setting for uh, BPH, benign prostatic hypertrophy, which in layman's terms means a, an enlargement of the prostate that is not cancerous. Yeah, exactly. And, and, and there, there is a uh, setting for that on okay. the uh, FSM machine. Yes, so I was just looking through the guide, lots of different things that we can treat. So what, what other things have you treated? So for example, what about people who have cancer and they are recovering? Or they've had surgery. I mean, you, you just had surgery yes, I did. a couple of months ago. Yes. So talk so, to us about that. Okay, so on the FSM, there is a wound healing setting. Okay. okay, wound healing. And this can be a surgical wound. It can be... Uh, a diabetic wound. Yeah, it, it can be uh, a laceration on your arm because yes. you fell into the spokes of your bicycle or, or whatever the case <laughs> Or like me be. falling off my big bike. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so... Um, I use some uh, homeopathics right before the surgery that speed up the wound healing process and yes. immediately after the hernia surgery, I use the FSM, one towel here and one on my low back. Uh, I was up and around and shopping at Costco three days after, after the surgery. surgery yes. uh, I was back seeing patients five days after that surgery and during that entire time I did not take a single pain pill. Wonderful. And so Wonderful. Uh, I, I'm absolutely convinced that this uh, made a very significant Wonderful. difference. Wonderful. Yeah. So um, we have this at the clinic, and uh, the, the protocols almost cover everything to do with pain, to do with your nervous system, to deal with uh, trauma, uh, glands. Yeah, let, let, let me interrupt. Um, one of the most amazing settings on this is for concussions. Yes. Okay. Now, I've had patients who've told me that they had concussion, a concussion 50 years ago as a child, and they don't believe they've ever been quite the same. Even 50 years later, we can treat them with the concussion protocol and uh, see improvement. Essentially, what happens after a concussion is your brain has to reboot itself. Okay. And... Uh, Typically, it can do that easily and spontaneously, but in some cases that never happens. And so even 50 years later, we can reboot the brain and get them to feeling like, okay, now finally I've fully recovered. Yeah, it's like the brain fog. The fog has gone away. Yeah. Finally, have, your brain is running at full, full yeah, potential. Yeah, I have a, uh, a high school student yeah. uh, who's the football quarterback, and he's had several concussions. And each time he comes in and we give him the treatment, and uh, it's amazing. Wow, wonderful. The other thing we combine with that in most cases is bioidentical progesterone cream that we rub on the forehead and back here. To and stimulate stem cells. Progesterone cream stimulates the production of brain stem cells. cells. Yeah, so that wonderful. helps the healing process. Well, you know, you told me that the other day and I've started rubbing that at night. <laughs> but I might become too intelligent. Doc. Well, yes, I, I'm, I'm, You're very, worried about I'm that. very concerned about that <laughs> exactly. problem. <laughs> Thank you. Well, uh, that was it today uh, with Dr. Johnson. 
uh, and Charles Sine at the Anti-Fragility Health Clinic. Thank you, Dr. Johnson, for My pleasure. that. And uh, patients who are interested in that, send us messages on Facebook or call out to the clinic and uh, we'll give you some guidance on these protocols. Thank you again for joining us. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Dr. Johnson. <laughs>